Hey everybody, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies. Sorry, I can't uh, wiggle this hand. Um, I am about, what would you say, Kirk? Uh, six, seven hours post-op? Yes. Uh, my husband is here helping me do this uh, little small shop haul that I'm bringing to you, but I've been waiting for these packages. I was hoping they were gonna get here yesterday, pre-surgery, so they did go back into my hand today. Um, they made a larger incision. They widened the area to release the nerve in my thumb um, and then yelled at me that uh, I've been using the hand too much and no, 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 no. So they have wrapped it up. I think this is what, about twice as big as they did the last time yeah. to uh, kind of make sure that I can't use it. So um, my husband is going to be my Vanna White today uh, to help open boxes and, and do my camera work. So everyone say hi to Kirk. Uh, Kirk, say hi to all my YouTube subscribers. Hello, all you YouTube subscribers. <laughs> so, um, but these are two of my favorite small shops. Um, next to Randis Crafty Corner, um, where I get 95% of my putty from, um, I buy from these two shops the most. Enablers Outpost is my favorite pen shop. I have gotten pens from some other companies that are fantastic and I love them, but I just really love supporting Elizabeth and Edward. They really give that personal touch. Um, they're really down to earth, wholesome, loving couple um, who beat themselves up way too much. Um, Elizabeth, I hope you are watching this. Girl, give yourself a break, honey. Um, none of us are going to die if we have to wait a little longer for our diamond art kits or our pens, sweetie. It is well worth the wait. And I know firsthand that if anything is wrong, you will make it 100% right. You strive to take such good care of your customers. Um, I can say the same thing about this other company, Jamie and Nicole of Bella Art Day Nicole and Bella Art Diamonds. It, you know, Nicole, Jamie, you guys knock it out of the park. You really do. You have the fastest turnaround time for 3D printed trays that I have seen from any company. Um, your trays are top notch. Your loyalty to your customers, you go above and beyond trying to keep your businesses afloat, but for making things as reasonably priced as you can for your customers. I, I feel like you guys, both you and Jamie and Edward and Elizabeth, that you guys are part of my extended diamond art family. And I don't know what I would do if I didn't have your shops to shop at and I didn't have your support and your constant um, praise and consideration when it comes to my diamond painting. You make it better, you make it easier, you make me feel appreciated and you respect the loyalty that I give your shops. So I just wanted to give that really big shout out. Maybe it's the drugs. I'm still under the effects of sedation, so who knows? But I do really feel that way. So without further ado, we are going to break into these. I am gonna do the trays first, um, since that's gonna require more of my husband's help than the pens. And I, would, I know I'm going to ooh and ah and gush and goo over the pens. So we're gonna put those to the side and let's see what I bought in this box. So some of my boxes got held up because I bought specialty trays that were being done for events. So I have been waiting a little longer than the normal two and a half week turnaround, but not much. Um, I want to say like maybe by a week and I am over the moon excited about what is in here. So I'm going to start handing some of these to my husband so that he can start taking them out of the bubble wrap because whereas I love the fact that they wrap up everything in bubble wrap, and I mean, it is done well in bubble wrap. Um, today, with my own bubble wrapped hand, it makes it a little difficult for me to get into stuff. So I have been able to use my left hand to diamond paint with rounds. I'm gonna have to keep practicing with the squares since the doctor said no diamond painting with the right hand for four weeks. Yes, folks, you heard that correctly. No diamond painting with the right hand 
for four weeks. Was I high, Kirk, or is that actually what he said? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so um, I think they're gonna end up putting like a baseball mitt on my hand or something here so that I don't try and do it. Okay, so here are my trays. Oh my goodness gracious. I only buy the 3.1 large uh, easy grid trays nowadays because I love the grid trays. So I try to grab them every time a new color comes out. And this is one of the color shifting. I wanna say this is the green to purple to blue. Isn't that color shift amazing, Kirk? Yeah, it looks really nice. That is just, oh, I just love these color shifting trays. They are like some of my favorite. So I'd give more, but I don't think your fans want to hear me geek out about. <laughs> you know what? You'd be surprised. I think my fans would love to hear the husband geek out. How excited do I get about my ballot trays, Kirk? Yeah, I know. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah, I get like giddy as a schoolgirl when my ballot order arrives. I mean, the first thing I did when he got home last night, because I got my box that went around the world. Um, funny story, I ordered my Bella Sparkle Dust. It was pre-ordered, had the chocolate trays in it too. Yeah, I didn't really plan that box well, but it went from New Mexico to Arizona to California to New Jersey to Philadelphia to Harrisburg, which, mind you, is only 30 minutes away. Then, for some reason, Harrisburg put it on a bus or truck to Illinois, Illinois sent it to Indiana, and then Indiana finally said, what the hell are you all doing, and shipped it to me. So thank you, Indiana. At least there are intelligent people in Indiana. So I finally got my package yesterday, and I got this gorgeous, I actually have it next to me, so I'm gonna show it to you, even though it didn't come in this small shop haul, but I got, this was my first resin printed tray, or I can't say printed, resin poured tray that I got from Bella, and oh my God, did I not stick this in your face last night while you were watching a video game and said, look, it's so pretty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. He's like, okay, honey, yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. Now go away, I'm killing people. You know, okay. he's shooting people on his game, not killing people in real life. Which, after the day he had at work, he they might were, have wanted to kill people. They were super mutants, they were not people. Okay, I'm sorry, super mutants. Okay. <laughs> So let's look at all the 3.1 ones first. So I got this one. This is, I think this one was called Mystic Green. Maybe, I don't remember. And whereas I don't really mind that Bella doesn't send an invoice, I need to start writing down while I have access to my phone what I ordered so I can give you correct color names. Um, because obviously I can't look on my phone when I'm filming on my phone. So, yeah. So, this is, I think it was called Mystic Green. Okay, Athena. So, now we have the peanut gallery chiming in. She wants to give it up. This is the translucent orange that I got in the 3.1 Easy Max grid tray. I love these. I love the translucent, and I don't know why, but I am, like, obsessed with orange trays from Bella. They are just gorgeous. So I've actually started to um, add on to my essential tray collection because I use these when I'm doing like specialty projects and I'm not, I'm just like doing a bag at a time. So I got this one. I think this is Mysterious Abyss, but don't quote me on that, but I love that color. And then this one I think was the Orange Sorbet. It looks like sorbet to me. Which I really, see Kirk thinks it looks like sorbet, so that's probably what it is. All right, I'm saving the best for last over here, so I'm gonna put that tray to the side. Then I added another Easy Max Max grid tray in the Solar Flare. This is one of my favorite colors. I love this yellow Solar Flare. And for some reason, most of my Max trays I've noticed are very dark in color, so. <laughs> I was really happy and excited to get a light colored one. So there is my e uh, Solar Flare Max Easy Grid Tray. Okay, that's like, I need to come up with an anagram for that or something, that's just way too complicated in letters. Then I'm adding some small trays. I will be honest with you, I started buying the 3.1 Easy Grid small trays and I actually found that 
they're not working for me. Um, there's too many single placing slots and not enough multi-placing. Hun, if you want to go let her out, feel free. Thank you. Um, you can come unwrap the little things when you get back. Um, so I'm actually replacing some of the 3.1 max small or easy grid small trays with regular trays. So this, I think, this is either, what is this? I think this is blue elixir, but don't, don't quote me on that. I think that is blue elixir. I think this is perfect purple, or maybe it's just purple. That is gorgeous. Oh my God. That has got to be like my favorite. Look at that next to the yellow. Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful color combination. Okay, I'm really, really, really liking that. Um, blue chip, I knew I had gotten a blue chip. So this is the blue chip. And then this is the unicorn ombre, maybe? Maybe it's the mermaid. I think this is unicorn ombre that I got. That is really pretty. And then this is another coloring shifting. This is like the red to gold to I don't know what. It might just be red to gold. But I thought that was really pretty and I really like that. So I got that. So I picked up five small trays, one max, three large, and two essential. And then I had to add I gotta correct my husband here. He's putting the wrong picture on the wrong resin tray. Um, you know, but he's a man, so what do you expect? Um, I don't do tea parties. So. I got another wonder tray. I am using this for that chromatic duet painting I'm doing that is confetti from hell. And I would die if I did not have the two wonder trays that I have. So this is the unicorn mermaid, unicorn. I don't know. It's either... Unimate? I think this is Mermaid. I think this is Mermaid and this one's Unicorn. Because I think they just released Unicorn, which I have to get the Unicorn one. But I got to wait right now because I'm on a no-buy. So, the Wonder Tray has six removable small trays that you can take out. So, you can use this as one big tray. It has a removable trash drill collector. There is a, oh, wrong side. There's a little gizmo on this side that you pull open. That opens the spout that allows you to pour drills out of the big one. Or you can actually pull this all the way out. And it has magnets in it. You can use this as a cover minder on your sheet. And you can use this to like, if you're at a slight angle, to lay your trays against so they don't fall over. So I thought that was a really amazing, um, Kirk, I'm gonna need help here. Heather can't get the funnel back in with one hand or the spout. Um, there is a funnel add-on that you can buy That's cool. to pull it in. See, even he likes it. It's got, I think they said 11 magnets in this sucker, honey. And Jamie being the relative genius that he is, they released this past week that now you can buy three add-on trays that are long. So it's three long trays that would replace. So instead of six small, you would have three long. So when I am off my no-buy, Heather's buying those so that I have the option to mix and match. The lid is magnetic, so it magnetizes to it. So look. I got that upside down. I'm shaking it. Nothing's falling off. I don't have another wonder tray down here, but you don't need a tower for these because you can stack them on top of each other and they magnetize to each other, which is phenomenal. Um, so that is the wonder tray. So I had to get some more resin trays because they were just so pretty. So I got this beautiful snowflake one for winter. Isn't that gorgeous? Now they started doing resin stuff because one of their co -work, or one of their employees started pouring resin stuff. And I mean, it has taken off like hot cakes. Sorry guys, I need to put that right hand on the ice. Hand is burning. So she's done this resin tray where she has poured and put these snowflake decals in it. This is absolutely stunning. Um, 
There's a magnet that's poured inside. I love how she made it like the center of one of the snowflakes so it doesn't look out of place. And then you get a little picture in the color you choose that magnetizes fast to put your trash drills in. But this becomes an amazing tray to keep all your stuff on. So I put my, um, I'm just looking for stuff I have laying around here. But like I put my scissors on here. I put my, uh, um, what are these things called? Uh, tweezers, my pen, I put my putty, and then I can carry it around and I've got everything on there. So I love these. And then I can coordinate this to the theme, to the season, to the tray, or to my kit. You know, I, they're, oh my God, they're just gorgeous. So I had to have one for Valentine's Day. Ooh, this one's different shaped. Hey, Kirk, did you notice this one's a different shape? I did not. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this one's got deeper walls. I really love that. And I love that. The picture goes into the tummy of the Cupid. That is hilarious. But yeah, see how this one has higher walls than okay. this one does? So this one's deeper. We've got a heart in here and then Cupid. And then, like I said, the magnet is in Cupid's tummy. So we get to put trash and feed his tummy. That is amazing. God, that is a lot of sparkle. Yeah, I was really impressed with uh, the yeah, color. That is gorgeous. These are absolutely amazing. So guys, you've got to go check out Bella Art Day Nicole. They've got amazing kits. I've already done two that I have up on my channel of post reviews for, and they are phenomenal quality and their accessories are out of this world. Oh, I almost forgot the piece de resistance. My Valentine butterfly cover minder. Oh my God, that is adorable. And that is so flipping cute, it's unbelievable. It's got little envelopes with hearts on it, little confetti hearts in here. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. The magnet, once again, is one of them is inside, so you only have the one for the back that is removable. Okay, that's gonna look adorable holding back my uh, copper spaniel and a cupcake thing that I'm working on upstairs. Okay, so there you guys have it. There is my, can you come make sure everybody can see everything, honey, for me? So can everybody yes. witness the uh, Bella magic? All right, so there's the Bella magic. So now we're gonna move to the Enablers Outpost Magic. Now, funny story. When I first started buying from Enablers Outpost, they put candy as goodies in here and I kept getting Fun Dip. It's the best ever. You heard the man. <laughs> he actually went and said to me, you can keep buying from them as long as I keep getting the Fun Dip. Well, then I got an order and there was no Fun Dip. So I messaged Elizabeth and I'm like, um, honey, we got a problem. Hubby's saying if there's no more fun dip, there's no more enablers outpost. So she messaged me and told me I couldn't find fun dip, but I loaded it up with other goodies. So the next package I got, he got Skittles, he got Starburst. He was like, woohoo, he was rocking it. So here are my pens. Another funny story for you. Um, I ordered a mystery box, a mystery grab bag. I actually happened to get a duplicate of a pen that I had already ordered. So Elizabeth sent me a replacement pen for that. So I've ordered these a while ago, like two or three weeks. I take so much pain medication now, people. I don't remember what I ordered. So I love that she always puts a little personal message that she hand writes on the box. Hi, Heather, thank you so much for your support. I'm sorry, but just little things like that, that's what makes you come back to these shops. Oh, honey, there's whole kinds of yum-yums in here for you. So the first thing is... You can't say that because Atlas thought you were talking to him. Uh-oh. The, the, the dog now thinks he's getting yum-yums. She always puts some kind of fun game in here. So I got a fill-in on one side and I got Sudoku. Elizabeth, I don't do Sudoku. That's math. Math is hard. No, I love you, girl. Doesn't matter. Ooh, yay! Thin washi, because I'm running out. This is what I use to help make my multi stay in place. 
So two rolls of thin washi as a free gift. Thank you, darling. I love it. Um, Kirk, we got some starbursts. Uh, we got some Columbina watermelon filled hard candy. Those are good. We got strawberry delights filled hard candy. <laughs> we got some big and chewy nerds. As long as it's got candy in it, we're, we're good to go. Um, there's gummy bears. Oh, wait, there's still more stuff in here. Hold on. Take out the pens last. We, we got more the, Starburst. The important stuff first. You know, I think she just wants to put you in a sugar high <laughs> so that you're like, sure, honey, order whatever you want. And then some really cute stickers. Oh, okay, that's a sunset over the mountains. That's really pretty. Very cool. And, oh, I love it. United States zombie hunting permit. I want one of those. Okay. I have... Elizabeth has given me permission to hunt zombies. I'm excited. No, I'm oh, okay. The and then we got... Oh, I dropped it again. Crocs and socks. Yeah, baby. That's your daughter. Yep, that is. That is my daughter. Her and her Crocs and socks. So, all right. Well, I'm going to put the candy back in the box because Kirk's going to take that. So, that, oh, there was another one. We got a little... A uh, VW Bug car. Beep, beep. Okay, so we've got those. All right, people. Here we go. It's the four pens. Whoa, wait a minute. That's not like the four pens of the apocalypse, is it? All right, well, I can't open these, honey, so you're going to open them and surprise me. I'm going to close my eyes. He's going to open one. Do I tear the top off? Or? Oh, no, you should be able to pull it apart like we do the putty without having to rip it. If you can't, just rip it. It's fine. I will say, you're like telling me stuff that's hard. He's a man. <laughs> what do we expect? You know, they, your, they must destroy. I'll do your Sudoku for you. Okay. <laughs> He's the math whiz. He's the IT guy. Not me. He's like doing all these high-level math classes, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to stick with 2 plus 2 you is 4. Just pull it out? Or? Sure. Let me. All right. Here we go. I'm opening my eyes. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I picked this one out. I got this because I'm participating in some Dragon and the Richard Lorenz events, um, which I now have to find a circle around one since, okay, he's throwing multi-placers at me, people. You saw that. <laughs> abuse, abuse by multi-placer. You know, you could have taken my eye out. Glasses on. Okay, isn't this one gorgeous? You know what's funny is that actually reminds me of the mystery machine from Scooby Doo, the colors. You know what? That is an exact, <laughs> that is very, yes, yes. That's okay. the first thing I thought of when yes. I saw it was the mystery machine. That is actually very accurate. That is very cool. But you know, all of my pen aren't all my pens like dark? For the most part. Yeah, I was going to say that one's definitely bright. Um, so I'm like, I need do. to add some bright shininess to my life. It's so, Austin Powers. There you go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Pen number two. Oh, let me see how it feels in the left hand since that's the one that's going to be doing. Oh, yeah. That feels good. That feels good. I'm liking that thickness. I'm liking the grip. Now I got to get him to go get my uh, stainless steel mold multi-placers and single placers and change out all my pen tips. <laughs> he actually gave me my own pair of, what are those things called? Needle nose pliers? Yes. So that I could pull out the tips. I wrapped them in uh, washi tape, the handles, to make them decorative. And he just rolled his eyes and was like, oh my God. You know, and I'm like, dude. All right, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. And number two. I'll try not to throw. Okay, this is the one that I saw, and yes, it's dark, and I'm like, I must make this one mine. This, these colors almost identically match my um, tribal dragon tattoo painting that I am doing for March. I love, love the gold. You see the gold in there, like the mother of pearl type? I just think that it's really pretty just to, to start with. I like the just the color scheme. That is just gorgeous. I love it. All right, while he's struggling to open another one. This one's a little heavier, a little thicker. 
but still doable. Yeah, yeah. This one is gonna feel really good in my right hand if and when I ever get to use it again. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, okay. you don't use it for, for four weeks like you're supposed to, and then maybe you can use it again. Fine. <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm, okay, this is my wood hybrid because I'm feeling my diamonds I had added. This has got gems on it, doesn't it? Yes. I was wondering if <gasps> it's definitely different for you. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that mother of pearl in there. That's awesome. Oh, this was my wood hybrid that I had done. Oh, my God, Edward, this is gorgeous. And Elizabeth, you did an amazing job with putting my diamonds on it. Oh, I'm very excited. I think I might use this pen today. <laughs> yeah, this might be my pen of choice today. Oh, I love it. It's a great weight. I really like that grip. This is beautiful. You guys, you really truly outdid yourselves. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. And then this, these three I picked out. So this one is going to be the replacement for my duplicate pen. And you, I'm you pretty sure I know what it is. Oh, I don't need to close my eyes because it's wrapped yet again. Okay. See, she really wanted to make it a surprise for me. Now I just have to figure out how to open it. <laughs> Here, let me show it, show it to him real quick and then they see it's wrapped in paper. So now he's got to try and find the end of the paper. Elizabeth, thank you for making this a challenge for him. Red rum. <laughs> oh, hold on, maybe. Okay. All right. Do you want to I try and unroll it? or? Yeah, I can try. For I you. think this is my copy of the award-winning pen that they won came in first place for the Cocoon Blank Pen of the Year turning or something like that. No, it is not. So that one has not arrived yet. This is my aluminum hybrid. I have actually been looking at this pen for literally two months. I wanna say it's been on the, on the, the store and I look at it and I put it in my cart and then I take it out of my cart and then I look at it and then I put it in my cart and I take it out of my cart and I finally went, you know what? Screw it, I'm getting it. So I bought it. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's got kind of like the dragon scale look to it in places, but I think it's actually called like a honeycomb pen, but it's aluminum. So you wanna feel it, Kirk? Oh, well, that's much, much lighter than yeah, the regular. That's much lighter, and this is going to be perfect in this hand. I can almost hardly feel it. It's like the weight of, yeah, like feel the weight difference between that one and that one. I think it's even lighter than the mini. I think so, yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh, my God. He's just saying, I love Mommy's packages. I want to play with the cardboard boxes, please. He wants to shred the cardboard box, please. He's like, I'm recycling, Dad. It's fine. <laughs> I'm doing the planet a, a, a solid. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today on my post-op day. Um, this video is probably, I'm filming it on Wednesday. No, what's today? Thursday. Um, it's probably going to go up either Saturday or Monday. I haven't decided yet because I got to try and do editing and I got to try and make a thumbnail with one hand. So that ought to be interesting. But I will link these shops down below. Um, most likely, Elizabeth is going to let me post a link to the video on Enablers Outpost Facebook page. I know Nicole will, so you'll be able to see them there and link directly to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please join me. We have a lot of fun here. Um, there is some really serious, heavy mental health content that goes on here, but we have an awful lot of fun. And yes, that is Atlas ripping open a box. Um, so we have a lot of fun here, you know, especially when I'm still under the effects of opioids and uh, sedation medication from having surgery and I'm filming a video. Woohoo! So 
please hit that subscribe button. Totally free. Doesn't cost you a cent. Um, then you can hit the bell that it alerts you to when I put up new videos because I'm a wild and crazy gal and it's very random when I decide to post stuff. Sometimes I put up more than one in a day. Sometimes I go a couple of days. Sometimes I go every day. Who knows? It's, it's, it's a crapshoot, people. Um, there will be a link in my description where you can follow it and go to Instagram and you can follow me on Instagram. I do post updates on what I'm working on there pretty much every day. Try to keep you apprised of uh, my progress on my things and stuff that you see me doing in videos. Um, there will also be a link to buy me a coffee, which you would actually be buying me a snowball because I do not drink coffee. Um, it is a way for you to make a one-time donation to my channel. My husband would greatly appreciate if you would make a donation to my channel because he hates seeing his bank account get smaller and smaller and smaller as I do my hauls. Um, he's very supportive, but he's like, you know, we do need to eat and put gas in the car, Heather. So, you know, any, anything you could do to help support my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I am not monetized on YouTube. So everything I buy comes out of my pocket. Um, so any help so that I can continue to bring you great content and have things for you to see so you can try out would be amazing. Um, keep in mind, I am still doing my... Uh, 100 subscriber giveaway or give back. Um, there are There is information in my two most recent whipping chats where you can find out how to enter for uh, that give back. Um, it closes 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 31st. I will be giving away either a $20 Bella Art Day Nicole gift card and or a if you're international, you only get the gift card. If you are in the US, you can either choose the gift card or you will get a collection of one tray, one putty, one cover reminder, and one pen from my personal collection. So shipping all covered by me as long as you are in the lower 48 states. Hawaii and Alaska, depending on how much it is, you might have to, I might ask for a little bit in terms of shipping. Or you can opt for the gift card. So everyone, please have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid and end up with carpal tunnel where you have to have exploratory surgery after carpal tunnel surgery and then lose the ability to use your dominant hand to diamond paint. So with that in mind, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to go back to left-handing it and working on some special projects. Take care, everybody. I love you all. Thank Kirk. Give him a shout out down in the comments. If, uh, you know, give, tell me whether he gets a thumbs up or not. If you think Kirk did a good job, please leave a thumbs up on this video. If you think he did a bad job, then leave like a poop emoji in your comment. Okay. All right, guys, we will rate him and I'll let you know in the next whip and chat how he did. Take care guys. We love you all. Bye.